Rick, we're here at the WTC in 2016, and we've just come from the General Assembly. How long have you been involved with the ITA? I've been involved probably the mid-90s as Canadian representative to the ITA. And then uh, the 2010 conference, I was the chairman for WTC 2010 in Vancouver. And at Vancouver, I was elected as an executive council member. Uh, served three years and then served another three years as uh, first vice president for the ITA. So I guess a total of 15 years. And what do you think is the, the relevance of the association at the moment? Well, it's like what we heard today. It's all about sharing knowledge, moving the knowledge uh, through industry, through general public. Probably the most important is the general public and amongst ourselves. Uh, telling people what we can do, uh, if it's on the engineering side or if it's on the owner public side. Uh, it's a sharing knowledge. Do you think we're getting that out? Are we, are we doing a, a good enough job at uh, promoting the underground? Uh, I think we as engineers, we get it. We do a really good job of moving the information and knowledge around between ourselves. We certainly can be doing a better job with advocacy to the public, to owners. Uh, mm -hmm. We generally aren't very good at promoting ourselves, engineers themselves. Uh, and we've identified that. We've identified that in, within the ITA. Uh, by signing contracts with communication experts to help us engineers get the word out. Where would the ITA intend to take the message? Who are we not getting to? The first, first answer would be the financial people. You know, risk and finances go hand in hand. We need to be better connected with the financial people. We, we are doing inroads to the owners and we've done an excellent video uh, a few years ago uh, that get, helps get the word out. But certainly at a conference like this, we should have financial people, the insurance people, and the owners participating. Primarily, we're all the family here, being from engineers to the suppliers. So yeah. we can really address the, the financial insurance people. We're well represented in, in the number of member nations. Imoli, uh, under his presidency, did an excellent job to expand the number of member nations. Uh, but it's member nations, when they come in, you, you, you must be ready to be engaged and, and contribute to ITA, and ITA will contribute to you to you, you get what you put in. But certainly for us to get the word out, uh, yeah. if we look at our budget, six years, it's gone from 300,000 a year up to a million. Has the organization kept pace? Probably not. And if, if we're staffed, if we're prepared to take on these new challenges, we need to look at that. We need to consider a professional staff for running our WTCs, running our awards events. We keep learning over and over when we go to these new countries. And if we had a professional staff, then it would streamline the learning process and use our res allow us to use our resources doing other things. What do you think of the working groups? What has been your experience with the working groups and the committees too? Uh, they do excellent work. First of all, at the end of the day, they do excellent work. The reports that they're issuing are excellent. One has to consider that it's a volunteer work uh, and people have day jobs, other priorities. So that's a challenge for the working groups. Uh, if people are considering to come into a working group, y you need to come in committed. And that's the only thing I think that we would be asking is, when you're in, you're in. Uh, the product is fantastic. And the committee is doing a fantastic amount of work. Uh, they need people. Uh, they need resources. We, 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 you saw today we have some money. We should, we should yeah. be considering to spend some of that money for, this, for the committees. And it goes to the same situation where to continue the work that needs to be done, one may want to consider professional staff, full-time staff for them. Everybody is busy and it's a commitment of time that needs to be taken and uh, yeah, it strains everybody's lifestyle and, and work environment for sure. You need to be committed.